Hey, Mark Nelson. Whoa! What's happening? And what I'm talking about is your business. Hey, before I get into this subject, if you're coming on live, give me a live below and tell me where you come from. Give me a hashtag replay when you come on the replay. And just give me a high five or tell me where you come from. Really appreciate that. I am coming from my home on the lake. And I, I like saying that because it took us a long time to get there. But hey, what I'm talking about, and being in business, right? And, and I remember being in business, it's a, the first time I was in a network marketing company. It's a, the, the guy who ran, who was our upline, was just an unbelievable upline. And he never let us make any excuses. Because people would say, well, in the summertime, it's slow. In the summertime, it's slow. Nobody wants to buy anytime it's anything in the summertime. And part of that is true. Because a lot of people go on vacation, so things slow down. And, and it's a, at least that's what I've seen. Not for everybody, because some people, their businesses grow no matter what. But today I saw a buddy of, my, of mine do a live out on of, he took his bike out to a, a creek or I, I, I don't know what it was. It looked like a creek, but see, he was out enjoying the outdoors. So it's just harder and harder to get people to sit down and hear what you got going or even to sit down and listen to a webinar. Uh, but summer is key and it's key right now. See what you need to do to start preparing for the fall in the fall is an unstinking, unbelievable time for business is you need to be seen every day. Your content needs to get out there every day. You have to publish every day. Now, not everybody believes that, but I believe that. So here's what you do. The best way to publish is Facebook Live, and not everybody likes to do a live. But if you do do a live, how do you like that phrasing? What I do is after my live, either today or tonight, I'll come in and I'll download it to my computer. And then what I'll do is I'll upload it to YouTube. And then what I might do is edit a little bit and try to make little smaller little videos if I have good content coming out of it. And I put it up in Instagram. See, I want people to see me all over the place. If you don't do a live, oop, I forgot. I have a blog, so it goes up my blog. If you don't do lives, then every day you need to be Putting good content out there, value content, ask questions. I asked a question today about uh, what was the one thing people didn't like about network marketing. And holy cow, I got a conversation going. I haven't joined in it yet, but I will. See, once people make a comment on your post, you go back and make a comment back. Now, you don't answer all of them, but maybe every other day you go back and answer somebody else. What it does is bring that content back up so I am about to head out and enjoy this great day I, I wanted to get on and say things to you it's a uh, now's the time you know take time get a content plan you know I just put this training up and I, I was got it for another person with Brenda Gagne and she talked about building three pillars of content so if you're in online marketing digital online marketing it's the first one it should be entrepreneurship and it could be leadership it could be mental mindset but three pillars of content and then if you know who your avatar is and their struggles and pains and what they want start writing 10 topics for each pillar so if you get these 10 topics you know what then you have 30 pieces of content you day and if you put content out every day guess what that's content for 30 days. If you go every other day, guess what? That's content for 60 days. Now, the first thing you need to do is go do your avatar, your target market. Who are you talking to? Write up their story. You know, what challenges are they going through? The struggles, what are their goals? Who do they talk to? Where are they? Are they on the internet? Are they in Facebook? Are they in Instagram? All this stuff. Find out who your target market is. 
And then when you know their challenges and their struggles and their goals, now start writing that content. The three pillars, find three pillars inside your niche. If it's health and wellness, hey Colleen, how are you doing there today? Man, I just love your lives. I'm gonna have to buy some of those, those pom-poms, I think, but um, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> But anyway, three pillars of content with your health and wellness. Maybe one pillar is weight loss. Maybe one pillar is belief set. I mean, I don't care what you're in. You gotta, you can talk about belief anywhere there is. Just get three pillars of content and then start thinking out what are they struggling with? Are they struggling with staying on a diet? Are they struggling with getting abs? Are they struggling with doing push-ups? I can't do a push-up. And there's a reason for that, but I can't do a push-up. Uh, there is a content for network marketers. You know, what are network marketers looking for? Or what are digital marketers looking for? So develop your three pillars of content. Then put out 10 topics for each pillar. That is 10, excuse me, 30 posts. Now, if you're struggling with that, I have a great resource for content ideas, a great resource. If you would like to see that list or that, what I have put together to how to make content and what it is, put a content down below, C-O-N-T-E-N-T. -E -E. Now I spell that out all the time because I'm a math teacher and I am a really good speller, but I find when I teach high school kids math, they are not, so I spell words a lot for them. C-O-N-T-E-N-T. -E -E. So give me a content below and I'll get that over to you. Hey, peace out, peace out. I'm going to go out on that gorgeous lake over here with my wife. We're going to make lunch and have some fun. Put content below and I'll get it over to you. You all take care. Bye.